Okay, let's talk creepy crawlies now. Yebo Gohocha Yebo Amablomo is an annual festival that brings animals, insects, and plants together under one roof, complete with tailor made talks from experts. It also delivers an entertaining and educational experience for children and environmental enthusiasts of all ages. The exhibition's focus changes every year, revealing new facts about our planet and its people. This year's theme is Beat the Heat which addresses the issue of climate change. Let's find out more now from the exhibition director, Donald McCullum, who joins us now from the exhibition space at Wits University, I believe is moving around like the creepy crawlies at the exhibition. Uh, Donald, thanks so much for your time. Tell us what people can expect to experience as they come down there with the exhibition closing tomorrow, I believe. Yes, it is. It's, um, it's been on since Wednesday. It will be the last day on Sunday. Um, we have all kinds of exhibits. We have spiders, uh, we have um, frogs, snails, cockroaches, and um, lots for everyone to enjoy. Uh, we have talks. We've got um, a um, mammologist who's pretty world-renowned, um, Aram Mogajen, and he's going to be talking on bats and what they do for us. Um, we've got another... Uh, scorpion expert and he's just made a guide to all the scorpions uh, in South Africa and he'll also be um, giving a talk on today. Um, tomorrow we're having a talk by um, Lizette Kukamur who's um, a mosquito researcher at our university and um, yeah there's a lot to be done, uh, there's a lot to touch, feel, taste um, we want it to be interactive and fun. And um, so far, the schools that have visited, the kids have enjoyed it a great deal. So I'm sure the people that come today are also going to enjoy the show. Yeah, I was, I was just asking you before we went to air whether this is something I could bring my two-year-old to because she, unlike her mother, really seems to have a thing for hojas and spiders. And I got pictures from her school yesterday where she found a praying mantis and was extract, instructing everybody, don't stamp yeah. on it. So I've, it definitely, I've, it's... <laughs> So I'll be able to bring it to that, right? No, this, 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 is, what we, this is what we like to hear because um, unfortunately people are, uh, you know, they're scared of stuff sometimes and unnecessarily so. Um, you know, everything has a purpose and we should enjoy it. Now, um, I think it was also International Bee Day or Save, Save a Bee Day yesterday. And they seem, the bees seem to be getting a lot of good PR. We're trying to get the message out there that they are so important to the ecosystem. Do you think um, more of our hojas and insects need better PR? Yeah, they certainly do. I guess it's because they're useful to us and they give us honey. So, and <laughs> then we can promote nation and other services but um, you know even things like flies that we hate have a purpose they help to buy growth if they weren't there and everything just rotted around we wouldn't be as happy as we could be okay where were you in the summer when I was swearing at all the flies here in Johannesburg I'm gonna leave it there thank you so much that's the exhibition director Donald oh, no. McCullum he uh, is uh, speaking to us live there from the Yebo Hoja Yebo Amablomo exhibition that's taking place um, on the Bramfontein campus um, the East campus at Wits University and you have until tomorrow to go and check it out and entry is indeed free uh, open until four o'clock today and then four o'clock again uh, tomorrow afternoon.